Hey guys, it's Jack and Sam from Tech Fusions. We hope you're all well and safe and today in this video we are going to be looking at what we think could be potentially some of the best hire scooters in Mills and Keynes. It is of course the Ginger electric hire scooter. So you may have seen electric hire scooters dotted about around the UK. This is another brand of scooter. So in Milton Keynes we have Ginger, Lime and Spin scooters. We've actually done a review of the other two. So after you watch this video, make sure you check them out in the description. So in order to ride these Ginger scooters a bit like the Spin and Lime scooters, you need to first have a valid driving license and download the Ginger app. As soon as you go onto the app, the Ginger app will actually make you take a photo of your license before you can ride. And that's something we've seen across all electric hire scooters within the UK. So slightly different with the Ginger scooters, you actually got to pick them up and park them within the parking zones, which you can see on the Ginger app. Um, just have a little P on the map and you can zoom in and you will see where the scooters are parked. The parking zones are actually dotted all around Central Mills and Keys, which is great that they have so many of them if you want to take the scooter out and about. If we take a closer look at the Ginger Skewer, I actually really like the stealthy design they've got going on. They've got the Ginger logo on the side and the rest is matte black. It looks really cool and stealthy. I have to say, I really do love the Ginger design and I think it just looks much cooler than the other ones. That's not to say the other ones don't look good as well. And actually, I guess on the downside, it's like they don't stand out as much. But for me, I just think the design looks so cool and sleek and it's definitely um, a design which I really love. On the right side of the handlebar, you have the thumb throttle, which is actually really easy to use. On the left hand side, there's a twist style bell and the brake lever. So just underneath the handlebar, you have the screen, which shows the speed, the mode and the battery life. These are Eco, Drive and Sport. Obviously, we would recommend Sport. Yeah, the sports mode is so much fun. But again, it depends on your preference. The eco mode is good if you want the battery to last longer. But considering we're not charging them, I think the sports mode is always the one to go for. Definitely. A thing to bear in mind is this scooter doesn't have suspension in comparison to the Lime scooter, where the ride's a bit more smoother. A bit like the Lime and the Spin scooter, in order to use the Ginger scooters, you need to first download and use the Ginger app. To ride the skewer, it's £2 for 20 minutes. You get an option to preload your account ready for your ride. So in comparison to the Lime and Spin scooter, I have to say Ginger to me is actually pretty well priced. The Spin scooter is 25p a minute and the Lime scooter is 20p a minute. So the fact that it's only £2 for 20 minutes is quite good. Of course, there are some downsides to that and the reason why it's so cheap, which Sam will go on to now. So going back to the topic earlier, we're talking about the parking zones. So unfortunately, you can only park the scooter within these zones. With the Lime and the Spin scooter, you can basically park them anywhere you like. But unfortunately, with the Ginger scooters, you have to take them back to the original parking zone or one of the parking zones dotted around your area. And I guess you can see there's both pros and cons to this. In a really positive way, we've been able to find the scooters really easily and actually go to use them because we know exactly where they are. And the downside is, of course, you have to take them to a place. If you're trying to go from A to B, you need to know where the parking zone is in order to park it correctly. Otherwise, you'll get in a bit of a problem where you are somewhere, but then you can't park your scooter. To activate the scooter, you've got to scan the QR code on the top of the scooter. So one thing to always know whenever you're getting a higher scooter is always try and get the one with the maximum battery. What it does is it just really helps with that acceleration and helps it go faster. Yep, definitely. And then you're not going to be left stranded if you pick up a scooter with one bar. The max speed of the scooter is 15 miles per hour. And again, as Jack mentions, uh, battery life does affect performance. So always go for a high charged scooter. While it is actually the same max speed as the Lime and Spin, I think one thing I really liked with the Ginger Scooters is because they are quite light, it just felt like they were going that little bit faster, which again is really nice. And um, of course, if you have a privately owned scooter like the Xiaomi um, Pro, 
it does of course go faster, but to be honest, 15 miles an hour seemed fast enough for me. So for both of us, we did not notice a holding fee coming out of our account. So that's one thing that is really great about the Ginger Scooters, whereas on Spin and Lime, they both have holding fees. I guess on the flip side, you get that money back anyway. So again, it just depends on what you, what you think about that. So taking the scooter out and about, what are your thoughts on the scooter, Jack? Well, Sam, I have to say, in my personal opinion, I think it's probably the funnest high scooter that are out there in Milton Keynes at the moment. I just found they were so much fun to ride. I felt like you can get up to a speed a little bit quicker. And again, that's partly because of the suspension and it being much lighter as a scooter. I think that just made the experience a bit more fun. Very similar to a Xiaomi Pro, but of course it is a Xiaomi Pro. But again, I just found it was great fun to use going around. Um, of course, the downside is that you do have those parking zones and I think that is the one downside of the experience because again, it makes it a bit harder to end your ride and I know when we were trying to end our ride, it, it took us a little while to figure out where yeah. those parking zones were, which is can be quite frustrating, but at the same time and overall, I found it was just a fun experience. I liked that it was a little bit cheaper and again, that was great. But again, that's just my opinion. Sam, what do you think? Uh, I had a great experience with the Ginger Scooters. I thought they were good fun and bang for the buck, to be honest. Um, yeah, the parking zones can be a bit annoying, but the performance of the scooter were great. You're gonna have a great time if you take out these scooters. Two pound for 20 minutes. You can't go wrong there. And taking them out and about, and we actually managed to find scooters with charge pretty easy compared to Lime and um, Spin. It's a bit hit and miss. But we know there's parking zones and there'll be scooters there with charge most of the time. So we actually found one really easy. And actually that makes you think, is that the benefit of the parking zone? The fact that we found it so easy. And we took them out of quite a few times as well and we could always find them that would charge. Whereas for Spin and Lime, especially when we did it, it was when they first came out and we did find them quite hard to find charge ones. So I think that is one great thing about those parking zones. Although it's annoying, there are some real benefits to that as well. Also, the brakes were really good on the Ginger Scooter. Not spongy like the Lime ones. They're really sharp. So good job there, Ginger. So one of the questions you maybe ask us is, would we recommend going on the scooter? And for me, I have to say yes, yes, yes. It is so much fun to go on. I like that it goes quickly and I like how cheap it is as well. And if you are just going around Central Mills and Keys, I think it is such a great option. For me, I've only really used them in that area anyway. So for me, the parking zones, doesn't really make that much of a difference, but I just found they were so much fun to ride and the fact that we always found one that was charged was just amazing. So I think Ginger, that is a real great thing from you guys there. Yes, Jack, I definitely agree with you there. Ginger scooters are awesome and great fun to take out and about. I definitely recommend you go out and try one out. Um, not to say the other scooters are bad, but for bang for your buck, uh, Ginger, great job. Uh, you can go out and experience an electric scooter for pretty cheap. One thing that I have to say is so great about all of the higher scooters is just how popular they are around Milton Keynes and it's quite amazing. I've always seen people riding the scooters and I have to say I think that is just pretty incredible because you can see they're popular and just how great they are. So we want to know, have you taken out a ginger scooter out for a ride in Milton Keynes or any other city or any other higher scooters? Let us know in the comments down below. I know on our other videos, people have really enjoyed electric scooters, so let us know in the comments down below what are your thoughts on the rental scooters. Yeah, we really love to hear your views and your thoughts on the scooters, and for us especially, because there's things which you um, tell us, and, and it actually really helps us, because there's things that sometimes we don't know about, which we learn from you guys, which is just amazing. Make sure you check out our other videos, our review on the Lime Skewers and the Spin Skewers. Uh, links will be in the description down below. If you feel like you got value from this video, it'll be fantastic if you can give us a thumbs up. We really would appreciate that. And of course, if you're not subscribed to our channel already, we would love it if you gave us a subscribe and turn that notification bell on. Yep, this has been Sam. And Jack from Tech Fusions here. And we'll catch you in the next Tech Fusions video.